Good morning and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh. it's, it's me and Chobi again. For those that don't know, Chobi, she Hi. is a shy main from PC. Uh, you'll find her link below. If you don't know Fader yet, you should. He is a console video partner and he means a witch. Go check him out. The link down below. So, both of us have had access to Drakania now since Thursday, Friday? Thursday? Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday, we've had early access to her in Global Labs. We've both been playing with her quite a lot in between our live accounts. Uh, what's your thoughts on her so far? Um, I like her. I I don't know. I'm still confused about her uh, two stances a bit because I've heard some people mention that she the red is damage and blue is shield, you know, which if you look at her weapons, yes, I would agree. But I don't necessarily feel more tanky in the blue than I feel in the red. No, I agree with that one. I feel actually... A little bit more survivability while I'm in Hexblood. Uh, I think that's mostly down to a mobility in uh, Hexblood. I feel like yeah. I've got more, more movement. survivability. Yeah. Due the to movement, movement yeah. Key. Yeah. Uh, right. Especially because today we tested out some spots. So today in this video, you're going to see us test out some other spots straight out of season and give you some tips on skill rotations as well. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we've done some low tier grinding to up to mid tier, what you would expect to be able to grind during seasons and coming out of seasons. We're not really going to be covering advanced gameplay today because the players that can play advanced high end areas will already have their own opinion and make their own skill guides for themselves. So this is mostly targeted at you newer players or unsure players. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to jump straight into the skills now. We're going to show you guys the skill menu. We're going to run down a little bit of our combos that we've been running uh, with. We're going to give you controller input as well as keyboard and mouse input today. Yep, so let's get into it. And now I'm going to do the skill thing. Yep, now you open your skill thing. I'm in the skill menu. Cool. One second. Yeah, you can just edit because this I was out. A dipshit and forgot to click start recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one. So this is Drakani's Awakening skills. As you guys can see, from the bat, it looks kind of overwhelming. It's not your usual awakening. There is quite a lot of skills in here. Yeah. Uh, it's still not as crazy as a Sorg skill menu, though. No. No, it's not <laughs> as crazy as some of them. Yeah, Sork. Sork being one of them. Uh, but saying that as well, even though there is quite a lot of skills okay. in here... Stop. We need, was... to, we, need to, we need to redo. Your, your munchkin is, like, all up it. Like, you can't see. Oh, okay. So I gotta move us uh, smaller. I've just noticed. It's all good. We don't need to start again. I'll, it'll just transition to where he is during the skill menu one. Yeah. Okay. Continue, wench. So we're gonna go from beginning. Three, yeah. two, one. So as you guys can see, her awakening tree might look a little bit intimidating to start off with. There is quite a lot of skills here combined, uh, compared to some of the newer classes that have come out and some of the pre-existing classes. But she's not as intimidating as what Chobi would say as, as Sork. Yeah, Sork's uh, skill, skill tree menu. is yeah, <laughs> a lot yeah. to take in. Coming from a shy, this uh, skill tree actually reads very nice to me because I can, in one overlook or over glance over, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. <laughs> in one look, 
as a, at a quick glance, I can see her main skills, which is like the swap, the 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 grab, uh, the e well e buff, quote unquote, because it's not on e. The grab is on e. Um, these are all your like bread and butter skills that you should always be using, pretty much. And then I can see this is uh, the red stance, uh, this is the blue stance, and then I have a core skill. Quick and easy, one overlook. Yeah, no, I found that, like, when I first looked at it, I thought, oof, that's going to be quite a lot to take in and learn. But once, after playing her for these past two days, three, if you count, you know, today, it's been half a day, she flows amazingly well through all of her skills. Mm -hmm. Learning to not use legacy uh, was a bit of a figuring out how we can flow without using it or using it as a flow. That took some getting used to, but it is doable, and she is very, very fun to play. Yeah, I found out, um, as I said in the previous video as well, for me, key to learn was swapping between uh, the Hex Blood and the Storm Blood. Uh, the most difficulty I've had was going from red to blue. So swapping in between from this one to that one. Uh, I found a few uh, key combinations other than the shift E, um, which is really nice. Yeah. So what would you say is your favorite skill from her? Um, my favorite skill would have to be the Doombringer, where you jump up and pierce him to the ground. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites. It says Shift Q for PC players. Yeah, Shift Q or LT LB for people on controller. What is your favorite skill? That mine's gotta be Sundering Raw. There's just something about you know the Dragon's Breath when, especially when you combine it with the flow of Extinction, it's just so satisfying to do that skill and then you finish it again with an extra raw. Yeah. It is so, so pleasing. I like the donut that comes with uh, the flow extinction. Yeah. As well. Yeah. It is, it is in my top five skills as well. Even top three. Yeah, definitely. I would also, for skills that I would say is probably most important for her though, is probably Tectonic Slam in her hex blood. That evasion down has come in very, very handy, as you'll see in the videos uh, of the grinding after the just little talking segment. You'll see how important using Tectonic Slam into Doombringer and into Savage Decree really is. Like Savage Decree tied with Tectonic Slam, absolutely amazing little debuff circle that you do there, but being able to use Doombringer to flow straight into dragon blood was very very nice yeah um i would have to agree with that um you will see in the video later on that we tried a few spots some were well we'll mention it then um like this combination the tectonic slam and the savage decree is kind of like your bread and butter debuffs that you're going to use because some spots like really need it. <laughs> yeah, you you need to do this. Um, yeah, uh, it helps that they f they flow, or at least on controller at least they feel like they flow very well with the forward X just into the LTLB into a backwards right bumper. It's a really nice debuff combo and it's very very quick. Yeah. What you would do is you put your Tectonic Slam, then you do your Doombringer, then you do your Savage Decree, which is a quite a quick skill, and then you do your Roar. Yeah, and then yeah, you go straight into Sundering Roar, because it has got an amazing amount of hits. Uh, as you can yep. see from the skill add on there as well, we have added 15 HP and all evasion plus 5 onto the Sundering Roar. Yeah. A forward guard during the skill. So we've gone for the evasion and the HP up because it hits 32 times. And with the evasion up being a forward guard, means that when you are getting hit, 
you you know taking a little bit less damage yeah and that hp recovery is insane it is really really good you're gonna see us do it a bit in the video as well so you can you know determine for yourself do i need this hp recover back i think it's pretty vital if you're grinding areas where you're a little bit on the low side uh, dp and ap wise so you can't burst them down immediately so this is specifically good if you're just fresh out of seasons but you want to try new spots um this is insanely good it's a great skill. You'll see it recovers roughly about 2,000, 2,200 HP if you've got, you know, a full pack. Using it on a lone target, you won't notice really any HP back. But yeah. when you can hit up to, when you're hitting all 10 targets with 32 hits with 15 HP per hit, your HP just, it flies up. It's, yep. For those that have played Guardian in the past or know of Guardian, it's very similar to God Incinerator's HP regen. Oh, yeah. Yep. Another way, um, another thing we have discovered that I do want to mention as well is um, I was asked a lot, like, how do we swap back to pre wake? Is it just a C swap? It actually isn't. Because Faded no, yeah. found some ways. If, you st if you're wanting to use the pre-awakening skills for any buffs or you want to be able to use the healing abilities from that, from her pre-awakening, you just use her rub arms. You can ring menu any rub arm, hop bar, any rub arm skill and it will immediately swap you back into her pre-awakening. For me, I've chosen the Abyssal Advance as my favorite of the rub arms because it's quick 10% HP up and it gives me movement speed which applies to allies as well. The critical rate plus 24 is nice. Most of his skills already have a critical rate but it is still nice to preempt with that critical rate if you let say maybe pre-buffing for an engagement in PvP or you're just doing it in between packs in PvE. Yeah, for me, I went with Abyssal Dominion uh... Yeah, you, you guys are going to hate on me, but I just want to look better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a nice There's... debuff skill, though. It is and a this... nice debuff skill. Uh, and it does damage as well, where yeah. your Abyssal Advance does nothing. It's just yeah. a buffer. Um, yeah, this uh, actually does damage. The Abyssal Advance, I'd say, is probably a filler skill in between packs, but whereas Abyssal Dominion, you can actually use in a grind because it's super armored. You will have to see swap back into your awakening or Y swap for those on controller. I found, you know, just doing a quick, doing the rab arm into a forward Y or W C. It's pretty. It's not too long. W F, I think it is. W, is it W F for the forward swap? Oh no, the. Swap it well, back into uh, Awakening on PC. I don't know, actually. Let me find out. Okay. I want to uh, go back from a uh, pre-awake to uh, Awakening, yeah? Yes. It's SC. SC, okay. So SC versus our forward Y or backwards Y. <laughs> You just have to control. edit this a bit. <laughs> no, it's fine. Let them listen to the scuffness that is us PvE grinders. True. Um, then with uh, another thing, uh, you chose Soaring Claw. Cause... Yes, I did choose Soaring Claw. Ooh, that, that one what? Oh. is more of a... That is, you know, someone being annoying in your grind spot. They've come up to you right in your face. Uh, mm -hmm. You can just boop him in the face with it. Oomph. It's very quick. Whilst it might be unprotected, it's rapid. It is rapid. I chose the Maokon Fang. I just like the look of it a tiny bit better. Uh, yeah. I do believe, though, that the Soaring Claw is a bit quicker than this one. Because this one has a little bit of a charge up. So if you're looking for a quick boop, uh, choose Soaring Claw. If you're looking for great looking skills, go the other one. <laughs> I've I've gone for eviscerating wings as more of a movement skill. 
for PvE. PvP, I'd probably take Dragon's Assault because it's super armored and it's a good engagement. Uh, but for the PvE, if you want to add in an extra a movement skill or you want to try and get behind a pack, Eviscerating Wings is going to be very good if your forward right trigger skill is on cooldown, which is the... It's Storm Piercer. Oh, yeah. No, not Storm Piercer. Storm Mole. Storm Mole. Yeah. This is a WF, no? Yes, the WF. That is in our low tier rotation as well, the skill. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to throw up now on screen. You guys will see a little video of us grinding some low tier areas. Uh, we we've the little combo that we've come up with together. We we're using tectonic slam into storm mole into spiteful force into fate beckons. It's just a nice little rotor that you might not have a HP pot, you might not have a mana pot, you might not want to buy them. Using that rotation lets you uh, regen your HP and it regens your MP very very well. The, it's also a nice movement skills between packs. Uh, Chobi did mention, uh, you'll see it, Ronoros now. That uh, you have to using just tectonic slam or using uh, fate beckons to move between packs isn't quite enough for all areas. So no. You have to use the flight uh, dragon flight yeah. just to move between packs. Shift space. Um, I noticed that the. Um... That the storm mall. Um, no, that was not the right skill. The WF one. Yeah, I. Oh. Then I'm doing it wrong all my life. I think. No, it's oh no, not. my B take on slam. No, 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 that's W E. I'm looking for WF. What am I? What have I been doing? Oh, you're looking for the WB. That's it. Fate beckons. Ah. Fate beckons is your WF. Yes. The it's a smaller <laughs> jump, which is good for where pack density is, you know, close together. But in the low density areas, you probably won't be using fate beckons unless you know, your stamina is low and you're near a pack. You can leap onto it. Yeah, uh, in some uh, areas in Renoris it was enough, but in most, you come just a little bit short, which I hate, so i rather put the fly on and I know I'm there. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to forgive the scuffness whilst we try and do a video talking about both controllers, uh, controls and keyboard controls. We're both new to the class, we're both learning what all the skills actually do. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree with that. And then we haven't even covered the core skills and most skill add-ons. The only two that we really, really, well, both agreed on was yeah. uh, Sundering Roar and Doombringer. And I don't even have Doombringer on right now. So that's the only two skill add-ons that we kind of agreed with. We have a screenshot. I think Faded can put it in the video so you know. Uh, yeah, it is on screen now as you guys look nice but yeah um so um keep stay tuned we will figure out skill add-ons in a, on a later video i'm sorry we aren't covering that today uh apart from the doombringer and sundering roar uh and the core skills is another one we will be yeah. we, ideally we will have the video out on Wednesday once she hits live servers because what a key thing to remember for Global Labs whilst we do get early access and we can look at how the classes play, we cannot guarantee that this is how they will perform yeah. in live servers. They might perform better, she might perform worse once their final numbers are out. So yeah. we're going to leave you guys with some footage of us grinding in different areas. All the gear will be shown on screen. You guys can select down below in the timestamps where you want to see us grinding. Is there anything else you want to say about her? No, that's it for me. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to her coming out into the live servers. 
Me too. And um, yeah. stay tuned. Stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the footage. If you guys have any questions about any of the skills or any of the rotations that we've talked about, just please ask below in the comments. We'll either try and answer you in the comments or we will reply to you in the next video that we release on Wednesday. Okay, so Thank you guys. Have a good week and enjoy Jacania. Bye bye.